Today we're at Disney Hollywood Studios. In this video, I'm going to share with you the different kinds of snacks you can only get at this park. Our first snack stop is Rosie's All-American Cafe. Here we will get the Snacking Sandwich Cookie. This Snacking Sandwich Cookie is a fluffy vanilla marshmallow sandwich between pretzel and potato chip shortbread cookies covered in dark chocolate and flaky sea salt. This is the perfect snack for those who love sweet and salty combinations. I enjoyed more the chocolate half. The cookie itself isn't very appetizing, but everything together turns out really good. You can also find this cookie at the Fairfax Fair for $4.99. Here we are at Hollywood Scoops Ice Cream, our second snack stop. Two of the snacks in our list are available here. The Chocolate Peanut Butter Explosion Shake. It's a chocolate ice cream layered with peanut butter sauce, topped with whipped cream and garnished with chocolate peanut butter crumbles and a chocolate dipped peanut butter cake. Peanut butter and chocolate lovers, this shake is calling your name. It's creamy and delicious and the brownies make a perfect touch. Our third treat is the waffle platter, also available at Hollywood Scoops. Delicious blueberry Mickey waffles served with strawberry topping and whipped cream. It is delicious. It tastes just like the giant Mickey waffle with strawberry topping from Sleepy Hollow. I couldn't pick up much blueberry flavor as it is covered in strawberry flavor, but it is still amazing. We are now heading to Trolley Car Cafe, also known as Starbucks. Here we will find two fun favorite treats from Hollywood Studios. The Peanut Butter Crunch Cupcake. It's a chocolate cake filled with chocolate fudge, topped with peanut butter frosting and covered in a peanut butter candy shell. This cupcake has changed a little bit over the years, but I think now it definitely hits the spot when it comes to flavor. Our fifth snack is a carrot cake cookie, also available at a trolley car cafe. It is a delicious and super moist carrot cake sandwich filled with an incredibly yummy cream cheese frosting. It is a really big treat for only $3.99. We are now at Toy Story Land, where we will find our next snack. Here, we are getting the Raspberry Lunchbox Tart. You can get this tart at Woody's Lunchbox for $4.29. There are three different kinds of Lunchbox Tarts, Raspberry, Blueberry, and Hazelnut. But at this time, raspberry is the only one available. This sweet and buttery pastry is coated in strawberry fondant and crispy pearls, filled with raspberry jam. 
It is so delicious and it's perfect to share with someone else. Now we are leaving Toy Storyland and heading to the market where we will get our seventh treat. Do you know what's this treat we're talking about? Well, it's Ben's favorite, Jack Jack Num Num Cookie. You can get this cookie at the market for $5.79. Practically a giant cookie. They serve it warm and it's gooey so that it melts in your mouth. Are you taking notes of the must try for your next visit? Now we're on our way to Echo Lake where we will get treat number eight. The cookies and cream funnel cake. It is a funnel cake with cookie and cream and soft served vanilla ice cream. You can also get another version with strawberry toppings and both are $8.49. Next up, Bacala Express. Snack number nine, here we come. The Wookie Cookie. The Wookie Cookie is a two oatmeal cookie with vanilla cream filling, garnished with a milk chocolate sash on top. It is also a giant treat. The oatmeal cookies are so moist and combine beautifully with the vanilla cream filling. Get yours for $5.99. We have now made it to our last stop, Pizza Rizzo. This snack is quite new. It was introduced a couple of months ago. The Hazelnut Crunch Cannoli. This new cannoli is available at Pizza Rizzo for $4.99. It is a dark chocolate and caramelized hazelnut dipped cannoli shell filled with whipped hazelnut spread cheesecake. This cannoli is incredibly amazing. today if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and comment below any ideas of what we should do next bye